Salvete de Scipuli, this is help for your Latin studies in Henley First Year Latin, exercise number 249. In this exercise, we are given a list of Latin verbs and asked to identify and translate them. And so we will look at the first four together. But before we do, I wanted to share this helpful mnemonic with you. We hear a piano. If you remember that sentence, the order of the vowels, the E, E, A, A, I, A, is the same order of the conjugation families, first, second, third, and fourth. And it is the, it's the vowel that is changed to in the subjunctive mood. So if you look in your grammar book, pages 48 and 49, in the first conjugation on page 48, in the subjunctive mood, you'll notice that the connecting vowel is E, we, right? From this mnemonic, we. In the second conjugation, the connecting vowels are E, A from our word here in the mnemonic. And in the third conjugation, the connecting vowel is A from our third vowel in the mnemonic. And finally, in the fourth conjugation, our connecting vowel is IA from the word piano in our mnemonic. So if you can remember that sentence, then you can remember how the vowels are in the subjunctive mood for, the, for each conjugation family. Okay, so with that in mind, we are going to look at four of the words, the first four words on our list in exercise 249 and identify and translate the forms. Okay, so our first word is contendat. And our first question is, which conjugation family does that word belong to? If you're not sure, here on page 217 is a master review of the vocabulary from units three through five, which is mostly verbs. So we're looking for contendat, or the word, the vocabulary word from which that comes. Contendo. Contendere, contendi. This is a third conjugation verb, meaning strive, contend, or hasten. Okay. So contendat, first of all, I notice that personal sign is just a T. And I notice that the connecting vowel here is an A. And in the third conjugation, that's the vowel in the subjunctive mood. That's the connecting vowel is A. Now compare that just for fun to the third conjugation in the indicative mood. There we have in the in the third conjugation we have o is it imus istis or itis unt. So that I mostly I and third person plural you in the indicative mood becomes a in the subjunctive mood. So here, this connecting vowel a tells me it's the subjunctive mood and that it's third person singular. Okay, so that's our form. Third person singular Present tense, subjunctive. Subjunctive mood. And that would be translated that he may strive. I think that was the right translation, but now I'm second guessing myself. Yeah, strive, contend, or hasten. 
that he may strive. Okay, let's do the next. Wing come. Okay, again, we need to be sure we know the conjugation family for that verb. So, here it is. Winko, wincere, wiki, wictus is a third conjugation verb. So again, in the subjunctive mood, the connecting vowel will be A. And look at this, it is. And the personal sign is M. That's gonna be first person. And by the way, this verb means to conquer. So this is a first person, singular, present tense, subjunctive, how do I know? Because of the connecting vowel on a third conjugation verb becomes A. Again, we hear a piano. And that would be translated that I may conquer. Okay, let's do the next one. Tim Ant. What conjugation family is this verb from? Let's check. Timeo, Timere, Timui. Second conjugation, and it means fear. Okay. So. I see the NT personal sign, and I see as a second conjugation verb an EA connecting vowel, just like the word here in our mnemonic, which tells me that this is subjunctive and third person plural. Third person plural, present subjunctive, and it would mean that they may fear. Okay, one more we'll do together. Expugnant. Okay, again, I see that personal ending, and we wanna check the conjugation family. Now, I happen to remember that this was only recently given, so it's probably not in that glossary. It's just a page back here. Expugno is listed as a first conjugation verb. And in the first conjugation, expugno, expugnare, expugnawi, expugnatus, the connecting vowel in the regular present tense indicative mood is A. This verb means to storm or to take by storm. Okay, so since our verb, or since, excuse me, since our connecting vowel is an A, which is the normal indicative connecting vowel, in comparison, a first conjugation verb in the subjunctive mood would have an E connecting vowel, like the word we in our mnemonic. So I know that this is going to be indicative instead of subjunctive. NT tells me again that it's third person plural, present tense, and indicative mood. So this will simply mean they storm or they take by storm. Okay. Because it's in the indicative mood, it's not it's not wishful, it's direct information. 
It is what they are doing right now in the present tense. I hope this has been helpful to you. Have a great day.